guys, Renee from Bargain Hunter Thrift Store here. And today we're gonna do something new. I'm gonna show you what I do almost on an everyday basis. My most important job is not only the buying, but also the pricing. So every time when I'm hanging at the store, I'm usually going through boxes, I'm pricing and separating from my employees, looking up stuff and get fresh merchandise, uh, fresh merchandise out to Bargain Hunter Thrift Store. I know I mumbled that, but I'm tired. It's been a long day. So why don't you follow me? Let's go take it some boxes. Let's go take a look at some boxes. Most of it's from the Indian Hoarder House, some is from storage units, and let's see if we find some treasures. I got like thousands of these boxes to go through. So hopefully it's good stuff, come on. So, so you can see boxes of everything, we just brought it in, so we'll process this stuff. This room will be completely empty again, hopefully in a couple of days. All the stuff will be on a show floor. We're just prizing these, and I know this is a little bit dark, and I apologize, but it's super stormy. There's no light back here. Um, these are depression class. Here, give me one of that. Give me that big piece. This one? Yeah, it's a little bit more light over here. So shift them over here a little bit. Okay. Just so we can show them. These are depression class. And this is the biggest one. We'll put like 30 bucks on it, which is cheap. Because this is, uh, this one we put 20 bucks on. Show me the third one. This the, one no, the nine and a half inch one. Oh. So this one right here is nine and a half inches and it's sold on eBay for 30 bucks with shipping. And we put 15 bucks and then we have 30 bucks one almost twice the size. That's the last one. Yeah. We'll do 9.99 on this one. And then what's that, 19.99 on this one? Yeah. And then a hurricane lamp. 29.99. Uh, 39 yeah. 39 So, and you know, as you can see, as you go, all this came from that one box I'm working on right now, and stuff adds up really fast. I mean, we got here 30, 50, uh, 90, 110, 115, 125. This was in here too. So when you get good deals, the boxes add up fast. So when you say there's 500 boxes in here, you make money. We put uh, 1999 on this one. This is Tuscan Decona Pottery, Italy. And then I just found this piece down here in the box. I just unwrapped it. Louvelle Savella, five, number 517. You can look it up online. There's one online, they're asking 200 bucks. I'm gonna put this one aside. Yeah, I'm just, the stuff down here, just leave, okay? Okay. So we're probably gonna throw that on eBay. A couple of goblets. It's kinda hard to do this with one hand. I'm, I think I might have to get a body cam or so. We'll do three nine others. Yeah, no, seriously, they have body cams. Why are you laughing at me, man? Ooh. These are like decorator plates. People always try to sell me these and they think they got like these gold mines. And even though it's Bavaria, Germany, we'll put like two more nine on these. And some more old pottery in this box. Seth Thomas, I got to cover. I'm gonna look this up online really quick. Yeah, see, there's some plates in here probably. Uh oh, I just banked something. There's gotta be somebody on YouTube right now. Oh, this is nice. You want to talk about the body cam. No, no, no. We're like, e-bank stuff. He's too rough. Uh -huh. Hey, let's clean this. This is our class. This is nice. Uh -huh. Be nice if it says Murano somewhere. Right. If it was Murano, it'd be a few hundred. But let's clean it. Let's see what we can find. Clean it and put it down there. I'm okay. not sure about this yet. These are $3.99. Yeah, $3.99 each color. So, and we color tag all this stuff. So, if it doesn't sell within like 45 days, this stuff goes half off. Okay, this box does not look promising. No. I wasn't talking to you, I'm talking to my peoples on YouTube. No. We're going through boxes to get us, people want to say. This stuff is garbage, I'll never buy it. Fuck. Actually, okay. This is cool. Can we go buy this? $4.99. And everything is color tagged when I say the prices. Bake off. Some of these old cooking books are good. I'm gonna look them up. Like this, I will definitely put out, but. It looks like 60s. Look at the artwork. Kind of cool. I'll check this online real quick. Um, it smells like cast iron. Home sweet home. $4.99. So, okay, we already pulled up 10 bucks. That's nice. And it's Verme, made in the USA. So, we're going to look this up. I mean, this is at least 15 bucks in my store, but some of these can be 50, 60 online. Little mirror, four ninety nine. And if people say, "Look, you don't get those prices," remember, I'm in California. This is not the Midwest where every house has full of this stuff. I found a peacock, and it's new reproduction. It's new, ten bucks. Hey, um, color tag him nine ninety nine. Clean it. Okay. And I was new. I was like a big lots tag or something. 
Let's see what else is in here. Anything worth showing? Bookends. Here's another one. Right. So see, this box slowly, like I said, I got 2,000 boxes like this, but this box slowly is going to add up to uh, sex in the USA. This box slowly will add up to 100 bucks again. This is beautiful. Be at least $14.99. Then we'll double check it. There's dishes down here. It's, oop, nice hurricane lamp. That's broken, unfortunately. Shit. And I didn't just break it, it was broken before. But it was a reproduction made in Hong Kong, so I only lost some of Huh? Well, it's funny, like, these people, they had, like, really, really killer stuff, and then all of a sudden, bam, reproduction. This is a pretty piece. So we'll probably find the bottom for it. Rome toaster, we'll go with sell. Bronze duck. Five bucks. See, this is the bread and butter. This is the stuff we sell every day. People just come in $1.99. Like regular household items. Oven back that I need. Let's see. So hard to do this with one hand. And probably not my most productive. If I get in trouble with Casey, you guys have to cover for me. Yeah, this is cute. $5.99. Hey, Dustin, are you here? Yeah. Put $5.99 on this one. It's like the $5.99 shelf is full. Huh? The guy with the wind-up. He bought it? I don't know. Oh, he wants me? It's just a thing. Okay. $5.99 on this? $5.99 and $7.99 on this one. Okay, white. Oh, co colors. Everything colorless, okay. Mini map line. All right, this box, uh, I don't see anything else that exciting at top. Okay. Three bucks. You had to pick a boring one? No, it's okay. That's quite close to my but I didn't add it up, but it's two $30 items, so four bucks on that. It's still, you know, that's the funny part about this bill. Check this out, this is cool. Old telephone, so I don't know. I think there might have been a, t a speaker attached to the wall, or this might have been a speaker too. I'm not 100% sure. I have to look these up. Um, like a candlestick early one, look, push to talk. That's so cool. MFB 5 51. <laughs> and then this box will be fun once I get it down. Looks like it's Coca Cola. This will be a little bit later. Yeah. Go through that. And I just found all these in the box. You know, they had them at $12.95. I think it's high, but we'll put these in our store for like uh, $3.99. These will be great for Thanksgiving. And uh, let's see, we we'll found some miniature books. These are actually Murano stickers on them. So I'm going to go through this box. Just a little porcelain set. Probably put like 20 bucks on that. Maybe less on it. box is kind of right. Let's see what's in here. Ah. Little tray. You know, these are nothing, but they sell all the time. Put like five bucks on that. And this piece right there. How cool is that? And I made in the USA. 15 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that. Nothing. What else is in here? Oh wow, this doesn't look like anything, but it's standard trademark. It's super heavy. I can barely hold it up with one hand. And it's, um, I guess because of a power converter here. Power supply. Test it. Let's see. Can you see that? It's made in the USA, I believe. So that's vintage. It's probably 20 bucks. And, you know, we check that stuff on eBay, but anyway, people always think these crystal lamps are worth a lot of money, even though it's old and stuff. People just don't buy it. That's going to be a nice piece. You know, I know this video is a little bit raw, and I can just show pieces, but I think some people just enjoy, uh, enjoy going through stuff like we do. So, when you do lunch break... What is that? It's like only one handle. 
hope it's not like a toilet bowl or something old. Oh, interesting. Soup for rings usually have two. Bowls. Oh, it's a cool piece. It's definitely vintage. I'll put 20 bucks on it, see what happens. That's it. Okay, here's another box. And I already unpacked a couple items. And what I'm going to do, because this is just packed, I'm going to unpack it and just show you guys some stuff on the pricing shelf. These are neat. Regency Collection Japan. We'll do like $1.99 of these, maybe $2.99. And then all these, these are actually Royal Cop and Hargan. But the Christmas plates are so hard to sell. I'll probably do like $2.99 of those. Some more Regency stuff. This is uh, Eschenbach, Germany. It's nice, but not that big of a deal. Actually, it's big in here. Ah, it's so hard to do with one hand. Oop. That's a cool piece. Once that's cleaned, that will look really cool. It's original American, 1962. Uh, Am Amarian. Amarian. That's pretty cool. Look it up on eBay. See if there's anything special. And then, yeah, so I'll show you more stuff when this box is unpacked. So here you go, guys. Here's another box. This one doesn't look as promising, but it's like class stuff. These to look like depression class. Those usually should come with a. Well, let me let me whoa, take, whoa, whoa, let whoa, me whoa, take whoa. a look at those. Uh, for, oh my, let me see. You see depression glass? Well, let's look at them with the gloves, of course. Why are you wearing gloves? Because you know everything is special. This is a business. We're trying to price fast. This is not. Uh, <laughs> this is not surgery. So guys, What's up, guys. My friend Robert just came in. He buys a lot of stuff from me. Way overpays all the time, which is great. It's kind of yeah, custom. Renee loves it. Yeah, I'm just kidding. He just actually underpays. I just sold him like a bunch of comics, and it's like, what the hell was I thinking in that price? Like, I, I didn't really think that through. Might have been drinking. No, I wasn't drinking. Just tired. But check out his YouTube channel, Collecting Dust Hobbies. Right. He's starting a channel. Super cool. Subscribe it. But that's enough of a plug. Go over there. Be like, hey, Renee, send me. Yeah, he Renee sent me because I bought his units to show you. He also has a really big giveaway co uh, coming up. Yeah, coming up. Which we're going to do soon, so you might want to subscribe to the channel and get a chance at it. There's not that many subscribers yet, so you got a really good chance to win. All right, let's look back in the box. As seen on TV. TV. Make sure there's nothing in there, but like Nordic were. Oh, actually, that's kind of cool because it's Nordic. I'll have to look that up really quick, so hold on a second. Just because it's Nordic were. So that's a brand you want to remember. Stuff is expensive. This right here, Arizona pistachios. Nice mason jar. Color tag at two ninety nine. Never know what you find in those boxes. Our heritage. My mom always said. San Diego County. It's kind of cool. Just put that DVDs. By the way, out here in San Diego, we sell our DVDs for two ninety nine or four for nine ninety nine, and they still sell every day. Candle holder three ninety nine. Yeah, this pitcher is full of um, wine corks. So empty the bag into like a Ziploc bag and then do $4.99 on the wine corks. And the pitcher is a new one. Do $4.99 on the pitcher color tag. And like I said earlier in the video, color tag is for half off. This looks like an older one. Oh, that's good. This is going to be expensive. This is Roseville. $185.8. That looks really nice. This needs to be cleaned really cool. It's a nice Rosewell piece. So I'm going to stop the video right now. I'm going to look up this real quick. Rosewell. 185, 8 inch. Alright, so I just looked up that Rosewell pottery. And we put 50 bucks on it. Which is like the cheapest on eBay usually. And uh, plus you pay shipping there. Okay, should we sell this together? Yeah. So clean this. Fruits and flowers do $19.99. I mean base and fruit. Uh, no, I just white tag it. Because if it doesn't sell for that, we'll just sell them each individually for $1.99. That's more than 20 bucks. There's nothing special. Uh, $4.99 picture. So I know, guys, it's not the most steady camera work, but, you know, this is the real deal. We're going through boxes. See it when we see it. You see it when we see it. Here, just help me out uh, down right now. Just because 
I don't want to throw the camera anywhere. This box is getting boring. Okay, I'm going to shut off this box. We're going to go to the next box. We'll come right back. So I just made fun of my employee, but I can't say about what because I'll get stabbed. But it was pretty funny. So you guys just have a little laugh on me right there. This is another thing from the Indian house. I think these will probably be bows, but I'm going to unpack it in front of you guys. And with two hands. Hi, welcome to Morgan. I'm just... Uh... So we have those little bow sets up there. These look like long bows, which I thought was more European, but these are bows that dropped on the floor. These are small ones, let's see. Some more cheaper ones right here. Probably should have had a box cutter prepared for the video. Oh, spears, we haven't had these yet. Oh, thank you, appreciate it. Any grown up bows or just um, There's some long bows in here and then we have those sets over there. And y'all from the Apache stuff, they had like 285 a set on them. We have 99 a set. Wow. Yeah, cool. more for some might be Oh, like bear bows and stuff like this. Yeah. We do get those sometimes, but I don't think I have anything right now. So these are cool. Spears. Obviously, I don't think that's how they would make the tip. Seems really big. Some kind of special hunting, but you know what? Oh, there's a custom I don't like. Hold on a second. <laughs> that would have been funny. I'm just kidding, I love all my customers, good or bad. You guys are awesome. So let's see what they had on this. Let's see what it says. Uh, Hot Show Collection Warriors. Spare by two deer. Consists of coyote fur, buckskin, drape bear's cloths, and coop feathers. So you know what, this actually seems a little bit more nicer one. This is not just a from somebody's collection so i'm gonna have to do a little research on that but this is gonna be at least 100. but the only thing there's two of them hi welcome to bargain hunters see this doesn't have a, this is a little bit different a little bit design but these are nice this is all really good leather i mean it, it feels heavy and actually the balance is really good because once i hold it like this it almost feels balanced which is not bad so but with that big tip i don't think that's a throwing spear but like i said I'm not an expert on Native American stuff, so don't quote me on that. Okay, and this looks like a longbow. Yep. Longbow with arrows. So you some sometimes when they had a lot of, some of these they had in the house because they had these actually hanging on the wall. They had descriptions on them. And I don't see a description, but Indian Art Center, Cheyenne. Art, artist two crows and they have three hundred ninety five dollars on it so we're gonna make this a little bit nice actually this is uh, this is two sets so, so I'm crying it together I don't want to rip it okay so yeah, this can't be 395 okay so 395 is for this longbow right here and it's a Cheyenne longbow Make sure this is the tag, yeah, $3.95. We'll probably put $140 bucks on it, $149.99. We have to find spaces to put this stuff. And these little ones right here, this is two, these are just little sets. Um, I think that's just a tourist thing. They're still cool, they're nice decorations for the wall. You know, something you can put in the bathroom if you have a Southwestern style home or so. We'll probably do bow and uh, three arrows for like $39.99. Maybe these little ones, $29.99. So we're gonna go to boxes right now. Jessica will just put these back here, a little stand them up and we'll price them later. Uh, if you can clean them a little bit and make them so they're displayable, maybe you have to use a couple zip ties or so. Oh wait, there's something else in here. Probably more arrows. Oop. Yeah, bunch of arrows. Um, they probably go with this bag right there because it has a bow bag. Isn't that cool? They, the wood feels older. Metal tips, little painting, feathers. So we put all this back together nice, Jessica? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, I'm on video. I'm not talking. I'm getting paid to run this. So I'm not getting paid for video entertainment system. <laughs> I don't know why. Just an entertainment system. I guess I used to play it on the Nintendo. But uh, yeah. Oh, you can't hold the phone like that. Mess up not? the video. You just messed it up. I, I hope, hope I did. Now I got to re-edit. Okay, guys. So, so I unwrapped some of the stuff in the box really quick because, to be honest, it didn't look that good. A uh, bunch of these hurricane class class pieces on top too. Somewhere before. Uh, little cobalt blue bunny. Here, let me give you a special price. Uh, $9.99 color tag cleanage. 
then you know Morty's uh, Delft. Well, actually, he's a Royal Copenhagen, but they're not really. These used to be really expensive. Now they're nothing. Three ninety nine shelf. What the pieces were that were a little bit cooler, and I gotta look these up online. But I mean, at least twenty bucks. BG coffee grind, and this looks. I'm assuming it's Italian, so that's kind of cool. Made in Italy, okay. And there's another one here I haven't pulled out yet. Actually, this is cool right here too. So see, these boxes, I mean, this box was pretty boring to be honest. This might be the worst one I opened so far. But still, it's gonna be over $100 in here. Actually, was this the ro did the rose one come out of this? Might have, so it was better. But here, nice little cobalt blue cookie jar. We'll put 10 bucks on it. And then right here, that's cool. That's another little coffee grinder. This one doesn't, what does it say down here? Uh, I think Italy got Japan, this one. So this is neat, you know, at least 29 bucks. And then just a little bit more class more and stuff. So nothing super exciting, but let me get to the next box. Let me clean this up. We'll get to the next box. By the way, if you like these type of videos going through boxes, I think this is the first time we ever did it like this. If you like it, make sure to thumbs it up. And also leave a comment saying, hey, I like this. So we're just trying something new. Like just pulled this one out of a box. And we'll clean it up. We'll throw $19.99 on it, white tag. Okay. So this box right here, I'm going to open it on camera. I think this actually came from a different private estate that we bought. Where it was just full of somebody that passed away. So I'm not 100% sure. It's either from a different estate. It's from the Indian store. These were my brother's. So, interesting spelling. I'm not going to judge because I'm going to grin myself. So, But um, usually boxes like these are disappointments. But let's see. Ooh, actually, doesn't look bad. Let's see. Poker chips. Let's see. American flag. 50 star one, right? Actually, 48 stars. Miniature. That's kind of cool. I like that. Feels really old material. I might keep that. Um, let's see up here. Jewelry box. These uh, ice follies. I'm assuming this is some kind of competition you belong to an ice skate pens. Kind of cool. I don't know much value. Old poker chips, which I used to collect big time. But I collected the ones actually from Vegas. I still do, but... Here, Cheryl, do me a favor. Take this bag off. I got the one hand. There you go. These are actually nice. They're not... They're, not, um, they're old clay chips. Oh, thank you. So these are probably like 1920s. One broken one. And then one thing you guys buy, look for old decks from cards. I mean, from old casinos. But this is from the American Red Cross. For use of U.S. government, permit number one dated. February 23rd, 19... I wonder if these are like war issue, World War II. Maybe they sent them to the soldiers. But this thing right here, you know, probably put like 50 bucks in the store. This is... A little Indian blanket. That's kind of cool. I have to look this up. Some of this stuff can be really expensive, actually. Old marbles. So, you know, people always ask me, like, you know, you learn a lot of stuff with time. What's my weak point? Right here, marbles. That's actually marbles that people pay thousands and thousands of dollars for. I'm not going to open this up right now. Um, but there's some older looking ones and unique looking ones, so. Patterns, and then there's, there's things to look for. This actually looks like there's a lot of old stuff in here. So probably what I'll do is go home. And probably spend a few hours reading about marbles and see what to look for, what's really rare. Probably nothing super rare here, but we'll see. People come in asking for them all the time. Let's see what this is. $20 for one marble? Probably was a $2 marble. Probably. <laughs> Sorry. Slippers. And then, uh, so maybe this is from the Native American deal. Because that's a really nice portrait. Else we got Smack Snoopy. It's dated 1958. 
Oh, this is just a copy, right? Hey, put this out three ninety nine. Catch. Oh, jeez, <laughs> Um, nothing. Oh, these dice look really old too, but I don't think they ever have a lot of value no matter what. So I'm not dumping these. They feel old, but I don't think nothing special. And then, uh, God Plus America. Let's see what's in here. Hey, do me a favor. Open up this bag and pull it out for me. It's an interesting little box. It looks like older stuff. It's probably all belong to somebody that's dead now. Look at the history. Huh? It bit me. <laughs> it bit you? Okay. <laughs> Toy cards. Little ones. That's kind of cool. And God bless America. Cigarette holder. Ah, okay, hold on a second. Spider! Ah, gotcha. Uh, ah, just a cigarette holder, nothing. And it's just. Oops, that just fell. That was probably like a little cigarette case. So this box is interesting. I'm actually going to put this aside since everything's a little bit older. A couple things I might look up really quick. Um, those pens. Those are like good little eBay lots. The marbles is probably the best thing you know, I'm guessing. If you guys know something I don't know, let me know. But I still don't think this is from the Indian store. Gloves. This box were from my mother. Vintage gloves. These are great. We sell them for like two, three bucks a pair. Probably 30 pairs in there, so probably $100 box. That's nice. And they sell all the time. People buy them for Halloween. I want to do costumes. Let's look at this box right here. This video is already getting longer than I wanted to do it because I don't even know if you guys will enjoy this or not. I guess it all depends how many thumbs up and how many comments we get. She just looks interesting. Coca Cola. That's a nice one. Nice vintage tray. Don't we still have some vintage Coke trays? Okay, we need to display those probably a little bit better. This looks like an original one. It's pretty nice, you know, like 40 bucks. Maybe a little bit more. This one from the back looks like a newer one. I also feel, yeah, this is definitely new. Here, put $14.99 on this one. Okay. Yeah, white, this one. Oh, beer sign. Oh, this, oh, it broke over here. Shoot. Too bad, it's actually a German one. Made in Germany, shoot, that would have been a nice 40 bucks, but it broke off, so now it's trash. You know, sometimes when you just buy as much as we do, it just happens. That's a nice one. And of course, the one is a little bit less, but it's from Leiden Airpoi, Nuremberg. $14.99 white. These are all real German ones, that's nice. $14.99 white. So, this is a nice little box between the two poke trays and then one stein. Here's another one, Hofbräuhaus, House, Germany. It's a real deal. $14.99 white. Okay. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to have a nice beer right now? And I don't really drink that much, but I'm so tired today, so beer would be nice. Paulana Thomas Bräu München, made in Germany. $14.99. What did you say? That's what the really is. And this one is Kamprin House Bräu aus Nagold. That's Weitbekannte beer, which means the well-known beer. Also made in Germany. Guess what this price is? How about $14.99? You're good! Woo! You should start working for me. Uh, Würzburger Hofboy. So basically these are like all the you know, old beer brands from Germany, like the old beer houses. You know the drill, $14.99. How many do we have so far? Uh, five. Five, nice. And here's the sixth one. And this is also... Oh, there's something else. That's the back of a music box. Burt's Burger, Burger Proy. Not a $14.99. One liter. Okay, this was like, like a music clock. This goes in the back somewhere. We'll keep it in case we find it. Japan. But that was a little box. When we get another box ready, we'll look at some more. Okay, just pull this box down. Ooh, I like this game. Buy and sell. Corner market with play money. Interesting. Vintage. My very best friend's paper dolls. Whitman. Yep. 
Actually, we had we got a bunch of books of these one time, and we sold them all on Amazon for like 20 bucks a piece. Paper all books. And then these just look like some uh, vintage Barbies. Well, not super vintage. Uh, nothing too exciting. Good new beast trading cards. Well, this is good. That looks, I got a, I got one listed on eBay right now for 200 but this is newer. And yeah, this is not 200 this is maybe a few dollars. And then the whole bag full of Beanie Babies, which... Beanie Babies, I know, they're not worth much anymore, but... We sell them great in the store.